Welcome, one and all, to my gal, the Zombie FX. Today we are tackling Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy, Volumes 1 and 2. This big, beautiful blue bandit was originally one of the founding members of the Guardians, but we've all fallen in love with his current big screen incarnation portrayed by Michael Rooker. He's certainly one of the most badass characters in the franchise, and my personal favorite. When he's whistling, it sure ain't Dixie, it's Deadski. <laughs> a whole lot of Deadski. Basically, you don't want to be on Yondu's bad side. And if you find yourself there, make sure to bring a Chashki. It may just save your life. So, let's get started. I began with applying my Wuchi Bald Cap with spirit gum. This is only my second attempt at a bald cap, so mistakes were made. So if you're like me, the best thing to do is improvise and then practice more. The bald cap comes with easy to follow instructions that include cutting space for your ears and how to best glue it down from front to back. Uh, I didn't need to have the back done for this demo, so I left my hair in a ponytail and laid it down flat down my back and uh, just using clips so I didn't have to glue it all. For the area above the ear that I cut incorrectly, I just used a small piece of the discarded bald cap to fill it in. Cause improvising! Using a tiny bottle of horrible Halloween store latex, which is all I had at the moment, I'm using a textured sponge to blend out the edges of the bald cap. Now I'm adding neutral set powder to unstickify all the ooey gooey junk. These are technical terms, I know, but try to stay with me, folks. Using Mayron Paradise Aqua Color in Brilliant Azure, I start adding all my base blue, leaving a spot for the head fin. Using foam, I made the fin in two pieces and painted them red with the Mayron paints. Now I'm starting to add face details like wrinkles and shadows with the Lagoon Blue. Then using Azure, I start adding highlights. That's just basically a lighter version of the base color. For the scars on the side of the head, I pattern them out with the lighter azure first, then I am going to do a darker blue and black for the bottom color of it, and adding white to the outer edge on one side of the lines to create a scar illusion.
to the spirit gum to glue on the head fin. Took me a while to get it all to stick, but once it was on, it was like seriously on. To contour and detail out some facial features, I used the darker blue from the I'm His Breezy Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. I'm trying to add some forehead line patterns to further disguise the cap's line and to make the wrinkles that are in the cap look like they're on purpose. Adding some eye bags because I imagine it's hard being that pretty. Adding the lighter azure and white highlights to make the eye bags pop and look more 3D. More spirit gum, hooray! This time it's for sticking down the scar wax. I used the wax to blend the fin into the head and make it look like part of my noggin. Um, if you're going to cosplay this, I'd say use cotton and latex or something more sturdy than this wax and harder to mess up. Uh, as I mentioned before, I just didn't have a very good latex at the moment, so I went with scar wax since I didn't need this look to survive very long. <laughs> uh, then just start painting it blue to match your head. Moving on to the clothing, I'm mapping it all out in white since white is easy to erase in case of mistakes. So for the color of the jacket, I blended the purple from the Fab Paints Cirque de Chonet palette and the Mayron Red. I tried to mix them at first and it wasn't working great for me for some reason, so I just painted one on top of the other and I liked that, so I went with that. Then I just used the purple alone for the undershirt. Switching to black to paint the buckle. After all the base color is in, I took a lightly wetted brush and blended all the white base lines and added some purple in their place. I also started using the purple to add texture to the clothing. For the shoulder strap holder thingy bobber, 
I used the FX121 paint from Ben Nye's Zombie Wheel. Then added the arrow badges in white before going back over them with the Mehron Gold Powder. And happy dance time, because why not? Using the black Mayron paint, I am adding the lining and shadows of the clothing. I like disconnecting the shadow of my collars on clothing to make it look like they're raised off of the skin. Uh, you can use that technique on any object you want to look 3D actually, so have fun with that. Add a detail to the fin. I used white to make the pattern on the undershirt. Uh, by making wavy areas, you can conform that pattern to the wrinkles you want there. Uh, have the wave go up when it's on a ridge and down when the wrinkle will occur. Uh, after shading it, it looks pretty cool actually. Finishing up the clothing wrinkles and shadows.
using white to add the finishing highlights. And then using the same techniques, I add my sleeves. And contacts in, specifically the sunrise lenses from Let Me In. I also added a simple pair of lashes, I don't know which brand they were, because they were just extras, and a touch of mascara. I added some lip primer and filled in the lips with the same base face blue color. Touching up shadows and adding a little more dimension on the eyelid with the darker blue eyeshadow. Adding a hint of Baby Bat Frosted Lilac Highlighter to the lips, nose, and forehead is super pretty. Filling in the hands and bada boom! I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! Now you too can yawn do. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful and at least slightly entertaining. Yes, yes, hope so. If so, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more makeup fun stuff. You can check out my other videos and get alerted to when I post more, even. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at MyGalTheZombieFX for more looks, previews, and the occasional picture of my dog. You're welcome. See you later, gals and ghouls! No one asked you, Marcy! Sorry. Sorry. I overreacted, but that's a terrible choice. Awful. It's gross.